Okay, so in an effort to get myself some culture while I am pretty much stuck in America for a little while, I decided to eat some ethnic food. Um, and on a budget, that's kind of hard. I can't just go to the local sushi joint or Thai joint or whatever and buy myself a full meal because well, I'm poor, so I go to Kroger, which is a much better option if you ask me, price-wise. Um, the selection isn't exactly super, and uh, let me show you something. I got microwavable miso soup. Now, I love miso soup. It's very good, um, and it is the Tsunami brand of natural miso soup, and this is what it looks like before you cook it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There are black flecks in there, which I'm thinking are like, like freeze-dried seaweed or something. And there's what the package actually called miso paste. Um, I don't know how you make miso soup at all, but I feel like the word paste shouldn't be involved. Um, and I squeeze it out of this nifty little package right here, miso soup base, which they, which they did call paste gross and uh, you know miso soup garnish um, so I'm gonna microwave it and um, well you know add water to it first microwave it and see how it turns out and I will let you know um, pray think happy thoughts whatever you do I hope it's gonna be good at least there's no tofu in it I really don't like tofu um, and this ugh, doesn't look like it has any so <laughs> we'll find out how it turns out in just a second. Okay, so I'm microwaving it just a little bit more now so it'll be nice and hot. Um, and it looks like I was right about the little black things. Um, they do indeed look like sushi, or not sushi, seaweed. Um, so that's good. So, alright, it looks like it's done microwaving now. Let's take a look, shall we? You know, it doesn't look too bad. Ignore the red glowy thing. That would be the light from my camera. Um, so the black things actually expanded into little bite-sized pieces of seaweed. You've got some chives in there and these little things, which I'm not really sure what they are. Um, you tell me. But, uh, you know, the miso's not exactly separating like like regular miso does at a your typical sushi restaurant, but that's okay. Um, you know, what can you ask for two dollars at a Kroger? So, I'm going to go ahead and give the miso a try. Oh wow, the sushi, or the seaweed really expanded. It's pretty big. All right. It tastes just like miso soup. That's awesome. Two dollars. Like two minutes to make. Really good miso. I'm happy. So go try your local Southern Tsunami natural miso soup if you're looking for a cheap way to uh, get some tasty ethnic food.